Hi, welcome to Mark's English Academy, the place to learn English fast. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you four sounds. A, uh, U, uh, U, and U. Okay, I think the first sound, a, uh, is quite easy for most people to make. You just drop your jaw a little bit, a, uh, a. Uh. Remember, it's a short vowel, so try to keep it short. Don't spend too much time on it, a, uh, a, uh, like up, under, love, puppy. Okay, there's lots of words with this sound. Uh, uh, the next sound though, uh, uh, this is a very, very hard sound for lots of people to make. The mistake they usually make is they say ooh, ooh, but this is not the sound ooh. I'll teach you the sound ooh in a few minutes, so be patient. Uh, but this sound is, is uh, okay, like the word book, book or took. It's not book, book. A lot of people would say, I'm reading a book, I'm reading a book. No, that's wrong. You're reading a book, uh. Okay, so to make this sound, you need to stick your lips out, uh, uh. And there's not very much space between your teeth. Your jaw is, is closed. There's maybe this much room between your teeth. Uh, uh. It's not like ah. Remember we learned the sound ah in the last lesson. Ah, uh, uh. I think you need to stick your lips out a little bit further. Uh. Uh, took, book. Okay, now uh, you might be wondering when the letters O, O, when they make the sound O uh, and when they make the sound O, because they can make both sounds in different words. For example, the word moose. Okay, a moose is a big animal that lives in Canada with the, with the big antlers. These things are called antlers. Uh, so a moose, moose are huge animals. Uh, so in that word, it's ooh, moose. Uh, but in a word like, uh, like book, it's short. But they both look the same. So how do you know, how do you know when it's uh and when it's ooh? Well, Okay, I'll give, you, uh, I'll give you a tip. If you're reading and you don't know, and you have to guess, then I'll tell you how you should guess. All right, so there are two different kinds of consonants in, in English. So these are called vowels, A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. Those are vowels. All the other sounds in Eng uh, all the other letters, sorry, in English are consonants. Right? And there's two kinds of consonants. There are con consonants with continuous sounds, like the letter S. S. I could keep saying that sound forever. Uh, or the letter M. Mm. I could say that sound forever. Uh, but some sounds, they come to an end like the letter K. 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 It stops. Okay. Uh, or the letter D. 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 All right. So, if you see the letters O-O in front of 
a continuous sound, like s, then usually it makes the long sound oo, oo, like moose or goose. Both of those are Canadian animals, moose and uh, a goose. We have lots of geese in Canada. Uh, you've probably seen pictures. If you ever uh, search for pictures of Canada, one of the most famous animals is called the Canada goose. They fly south in the winter and then in the summertime they fly back to Canada. Okay, so if it's, if it's a continuous sounding consonant, then it's oo. But if it's not a continuous sounding consonant, like D or T or K, then it's U. Uh. Uh, okay. Um, now, in English there are exceptions to everything. Um, for example, the word food. All right. Uh, D comes to an end, D. So it should be food. Food, but it's not. It's food. All right, sorry, that's English. There's nothing I can do about it. English is so weird. In English, we have we have rules, but about half the time, the rules get broken. So it's almost it's discouraging to learn a rule when there are so many exceptions to the rule. But that's just what you have you have to live with. Um, Okay, so let's read this sentence. The funny cook got his ugly foot stuck in a cup full of pudding. The funny cook got his ugly foot stuck in a cup full of pudding. So, a, uh, u, uh, a, uh, u, uh, a, uh, a, uh, u, uh, u. Uh. The funny cook got his ugly foot stuck in a cup full of pudding. Okay, next I'm going to teach you the sounds oo and you. But first, it's sponsor time. This lesson is brought to you by nobody. Instead of watching a satellite crash in Shanghai, you could be watching me promote your product or service. All right, the next two sounds are very similar. Oo and you. Oo and you. Okay, so to make the first sound, oo, your lips have to come out quite far. Oo, oo, and your jaw is quite closed. Ooh. There's maybe this much space between my top and bottom teeth. So the jaw is more closed than in the other O sounds. Uh, like ah, uh, and ooh. So watch my jaw and my lips when I make each of those sounds. Ah, uh, oo, ah, uh, oo. So the sound oo, the lips are out the farthest. Also remember the sound o, o, lips come out really far. Okay, now the sound u is exactly the same sound except with the y sound in front of it, y. Yeah, you, you. Okay, so you start with your lips wide. You, you. So it's a very easy sound, or yeah, it's a very easy sound because it's a word that we use all the time. You. Do you want some cookies? Do you want some beer? Okay, um, I could use some cookies or a beer. If you want to buy me 
some cookies or a beer, I would appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, so let's read this sentence here to practice these two sounds. The rude mule used his cute hooves to shoot hoops and tune his ukulele. To shoot hoops means to play basketball and a mule is the cross between a donkey and a horse. So a mule looks like a donkey but it's a cross between a donkey and a horse. It's the baby. Uh, so actually a mule is a little bit bigger than a donkey but I probably wouldn't know the difference if I saw a donkey or a mule. Okay, uh, and hooves, okay, donkeys or horses or cows or camels, they don't have feet. Okay, they, they don't have feet, they have hooves. Hooves are those hard <laughs> things they use to, to walk. All right, now I would say hooves, but an American would say hooves, hooves. So I say ooh, they say uh. Remember what I just taught you about ooh and uh. It depends on the sound that comes after. So here we have two o's. What's after is v, and v is a continuous sound. So I say ooh, hooves. All right, but you'll notice here are two exceptions to what I just said. All right, so uh, this is a t and p. T, p. They both are not continuous. Uh, so you know, but it's still a long o. So shoot hoops. That's English. All right. Um, Another thing I want to mention is that sometimes words have a sound and you can choose whether it's oo or you. So it's your, sometimes it's your choice. Uh, for example, uh, in the word news. So every morning when I wake up, I check BBC News to see what's going on in the world. So I say news, but some people say news, news. Another word uh, that you can decide is uh, this word, tune. So I think I say tune, but you could also say tune, 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 tune. It's your choice. But uh, for most of the other sounds, it's fixed. Okay, uh, you don't have a choice between oo and you. There's a strange little fly flying around my face. Okay, so anyway, uh, I hope that helps your pronunciation between these two sounds. And uh, if you would like to shoot hoops with a rude mule, then click on the subscribe button right down there, and I'll see you over in the next lesson. Take care.